All right, so in this video, I'm gonna run you through uh, the complete process of running the latest phase swap tool, which is Phase Fusion 3 locally in your system. So this whole process will be done with the help of commands without needing to use any alternative AI tool like Pinocchio. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into the process of downloading the latest Phase Fusion 3 locally in your system. All right, so first of all, for installing Phase Fusion 3.0, we won't be needing Pinocchio or any other platform to download Phase Fusion 3.0. We're just going to go ahead and go to Google, type Phase Fusion 3.0 Linux install, because in this video, I'll be using a Linux-based machine to download my whole system, because obviously in Linux, uh, you can go ahead and get better GPU. So that's why I'm using that. And if you go ahead and scroll down here, so in that, you will get uh, the installation phase fusion official page so yeah it's going to go ahead and jump you directly to the complete installation process uh, in which you can go ahead and first of all prepare your platform so i'll be selecting linux so in that it's going to go ahead and give me the entire procedure entire step like how you can go ahead and download that right so first of all we'll have uh, the basic dependencies and then you're going to go ahead and prepare your environment install your accelerator download your copy install the application reload the environment and then so it's like seven steps you'll be able to download this with just a simple command okay so first of all uh, we're going to go ahead and jump to our first step which is prepare your platform i'm going to click on linux so we have like five uh, commands right over here five dependencies that we need to go ahead and download so first of all i'm going to uh, copy this one come to my uh, linux based machine and open terminal right over here and first of all, I'm going to paste my first command over here, which is apt install git all. And then for the next one, I'm going to go ahead and do this URL one, paste it right over here. And then the third one will be uh, the conda one. I'm going to go ahead and do that for this one as well. Okay, then the next one would be the bash mini conda tree. I'm going to paste this one again over here and click enter. So then it's going to give me some Anaconda terms of service. So I'm going to go ahead and keep on reading all of that until it's done. So it's going to take around a bit of a while. So I'll be back when it's done. Okay. All right. So after we are done with the terms and services, the next one, you're going to go ahead and install this FFMPEG. Okay. I'm going to simply paste this command over here as well. All right. So then the last one would be the codec. Okay. Which will basically install all our necessary drivers. Uh, into our Linux based machine. Okay, so that will be a very important one. All right, so once our dependencies are done, we're going to go ahead and jump back and prepare our environment. So this is going to consist of like three commands. So let's just go ahead and do three of them real quickly into that. All right, so our second step is complete. So now we're going to go ahead and jump to the third one, which is install your accelerator. And in that, we're going to again select Linux. And we have to basically install all of these four important dependencies. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quickly as well. All right, so our, this whole step has been done as well, which was, you know, installing our accelerator. So then I'm going to go ahead and jump to the fourth one, which is download your copy. So in that will basically be cloning our GitHub repository of Phase Fusion 3. So first of all, I'm going to copy this prompt. Uh, come to here and just paste it in my terminal. So right now it's going to go ahead and clone all of the uh, dependency, like everything in the repository uh, in our Linux based machine. Okay. So then we're going to go ahead and do CD phase fusion just to go into our uh, folder in the repository. Okay. So once uh, the first step is done, so now we're going to go ahead and install the application. Okay. So for that, obviously uh, we do uh, python install.py. So that is the common like our main command right over here okay so then uh, we're going to go ahead and reload our environment so first of all we're going to do the conda deactivate and then we'll do conda activate phase fusion okay so that will be a really important step as well and then we're going to go ahead and jump to done but right now let's just say if i go ahead and try to run this so it won't be done okay we'll get lots of errors in their initial state so yeah how you can go ahead and fix those really really simple you guys you need to go ahead and get help from chad gpt okay so now from here chad gpt would be our helper it's gonna help us uh you know just solve all the errors and let us get started with the phase vision 3 app so let's just say from here i basically got this error so i'm gonna go ahead and copy all of the error 
okay paste it into my chat gpt and just ask like how we're gonna go ahead and fix that okay so chat gpt is basically give me uh the commands like the missing dependencies or you can say uh the missing arguments that we have in our uh face fusion model so i'm gonna go ahead and download them uh into our command you know just to fulfill uh, the requirements that we are still missing uh, from our model all right so it's uh, downloading you guys can see so we did have some of the missing requirements and from here i'm gonna go ahead and uh, install this one as well i think that's done let's do conda activate phase fusion let's do this demand okay so you guys can see there are lots of things that's been downloading right so there were lots of things that was missing so yeah that chat gpt is helping really good into that purpose as you guys can notice Okay, next up, we're going to do Conda uh, Activate Face Fusion and then Conda Install uh, Conda Forge Open CV. Okay, so I'm going to paste that command right over here. Okay, so it's collecting package metadata. All right, so that was our basic main dependency that was missing. So let's just go ahead and uh, do all of this and we'll try to run our tool once again and let's see whether this time we'll get error or not. All right, so everything is done by now. So now let's just go ahead and try to uh, run our tool once again. So yeah, that was our command. Let's just go ahead and try to run this. Okay, so it's downloading. You guys can see straight away. All right, so our tool, we can we can guess from here that it is close to uh, the running process once everything starts to download. All right, so here we go. You guys can see. So our model has worked very fluently so yeah you guys can see we were having technical difficulties obviously we we're having lots of problems uh with the errors that we we're seeing uh in the official website of face fusion but chat helped us a lot in that purpose and now our face fusion is working right all right so after that this will be basically uh, the home page of the new face fusion 3.0 so you guys will get a very complex a very detailed interface so let's just say if you are someone who is very expert in face vision. So hands down, that is the best tool for you. So first of all, we'll get the processors. So according to me, face swapper, the default one will be the best one. And then you will get some of the swapper models, some swapper pixel boost. So you guys can see right from here, like there are lots of tools, lots of options you can go ahead and do in phase fusion so according to my testing the options you are getting by default uh, like the parameters are the best one and you will be able to get very amazing results with the help of these default parameters right so if we talk about the basics like how you go ahead and use that so it's really really simple so over here you have the source so in that you have to basically provide your image that you want to face swap on a certain video okay so then the target here your video will come and then over here, it's going to show you the preview and then here we'll get the output. So enough talking, let's just go ahead and actually test this out and see how we'll get the results. So first of all, in the source, I'm going to go ahead and drop my own image. So this is the image of my cell. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to target. And in here, I'm going to basically go ahead and upload any video. Okay. So let's just say I take this video, which was basically a video generated from AI. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and try the result. So on the right side, you guys can see we quickly get a preview section over here. It's going to basically go ahead and provide you a preview. That will be a very rough preview, like how your video is going to look like. And you can go ahead and try to look in that uh, with several angles, like how your uh, face fab is going to work. So right now, it's not looking that good because obviously it's not um the final output and in that you can also go ahead and get a reference face so let's just say if you have multiple faces in the uh, video so you can go ahead and select faces that i'll be showing you in a moment so yeah then over here if you go ahead and scroll down a bit more so we get a few more parameters that we're going to go ahead and ignore those for a moment and right on the bottom we get the options to start so from here i'm going to go ahead and start generation and it's going to process all the steps because obviously this is an open source model. So it's going to take all of its steps, you know, all of its time to go ahead and get my video done. Okay, so right now it's 7% done. So I'll be back when it's fully ready. All right, guys, there you go. So our processing is 100% done. And right now you guys can see we have our output over here. So from there, I can easily go ahead and download this with this download button. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys side by side. So this was my initial video on left. And on right, we have the final output and basically face wrap this image, right? So yeah, looking 
a uh, very very decent we don't see any deformation that is the advantage of these um open source face swap tools right like it's very accurate so let's just say if you were to use any like online face swap tools so that will be really blurry really messy but yeah the face vision 3.0 it's best in class like no doubt so right now i'm gonna go ahead and move to my next example so we're gonna go ahead and take a video which contains two people in that right so i'm gonna go ahead and test out like whether if you have two paces, it will work good in that scenario or not. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this video in which you guys can see we have a man and we have a woman, right? So on right, you guys can see is asking like which face you want to go ahead and face swap. So let's just say if I select this face, it's going to go ahead and give me a new preview with my face swapped on a woman, which looks really odd for now. So I'm going to go ahead and just select uh, like the man face, okay? And yeah, rest every parameter is going to be like identical because obviously we are not deep diving in this tool right now because uh, yeah, it's really, really simple to use. You just have to upload your image, your video, and that's it. Your face so that would be ready. No complex details, no whatsoever, right? So I'm going to go ahead and start this. All right, so our video is done. You guys can see it was the initial and you guys can literally see how beautifully and how accurately is faced swab our video, right? It looks absolutely perfect. We don't see any deformation and even it followed the expression, the eyes movement, and you know, everything is too, too good about this face swab video, right? So yeah, there you have it, guys. This was the exploration, a very important tutorial, how you can go ahead and download face fusion 3.0 on your Linux based machine. So everybody else was using Pinocchio, uh, to download it very easily but now that has been really glitchy and it's full of errors but not anymore you can go ahead and do that very easily with the help of simple commands and you know it was a very simple process so yeah i hope you like this video guys and i'll see you in the next one until then take care bye bye